Peace, peace and blessings, y'all. Welcome back. Welcome, welcome back. What's up with you, Mimi? How you doing? I am wonderful. How are you? I'm great. I'm great. Man, I'm just so grateful to be back here, you know what I'm saying, um, for another edition, another episode, another great conversation only at the Square Table Talk Show. You already know, hosted by myself, celebrity interviewer, I said it, and my lovely, legendary co-host, Mimi Acosta. <laughs> that, that way, that way. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate you, Queen. Always, um, thank you for your support. You know what I mean? You always show up and show out. Every time we're on this show, you know what I mean? Man, like, it's so fun. We have so much fun on this show. We've had so many legendary guests on this show, haven't we? So yes. many great people. <laughs> a ton of them. Can't keep up. I keep saying, well, we're about to do the barbecue 2024. <laughs> Let's go. I, I swear, I swear. For those that don't know, the Square Table has actually been around. We started this program February of 2022, just so it's documented. You know what I mean? We've been doing it, you know what I mean? And uh, we've had so many great guests on the show. And I'm just anxious to have, you know, two more lovely ladies and a gentleman, another gentleman on the show to help me so I don't get attacked by all y'all women. Y'all <laughs> talk about <laughs> Always got to have another another king there, you know what I'm saying? Without yes. queen, but you got it, man. You can handle it. You know that. <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm a Leo. I'm a Leo. <laughs> I... But no, hey, thank you again for everyone that's tuned in right now. Make sure you all share this program immediately because this is about to be a great topic, another great conversation. But first, let me go ahead and um, start bringing in these guests. Let's go. Yes, absolutely. So the first guest I'm going to bring in, she goes by the name of Jazzy No Nonsense, the poet, and she's actually a legend out here. I want to welcome her to the show. Thank you. I'm so glad to be here and I'm happy and I'm so happy for the invite. No, no, I'm grateful for your time. You know what I mean? I know you're a very busy woman and um, man, you know, you're a hard person to catch up with, but when you, you support, you support hard and thank you for all the promotion you've been doing too as well. Thank you. No problem. No problem. Well, my name is Jazzy No Nonsense, the poet. I'm the CEO of the Elite Money Squad, LLC. I'm a filmmaker, I'm a writer, producer, director, a TV host on WHPR TV 33 On Demand every Wednesday at 4 p.m. Make a stand with your brand. Also, I manage comedians, rappers, poets, all genres of entertainment. And um, if you wanna send me some help on all these things I do to bring to you, you can cash at me at Jazzy No Nonsense the Poet for any don donations and sponsorships. And also you can chime me at Amina Nelson. That's A-M-E-N-I-A-N-E-L-S-O-N. -E -E or you can call me directly at 248-508-2094. And also my Facebook page, Twitter, not Twitter, Facebook, IG, and um. TikTok, all the same, Jazzy No Nonsense the Poet. Or just Google me. I'm all there. There you go. Love absolutely, it. absolutely. And I highly recommend you all support my new friend, Jazzy No Nonsense the Poet. Thank you so much for your um information. Yeah. Yeah. Next time I um bring in my um one of my good sisters, OG Rebel. Out better also known as Nelly. So I'm gonna bring her in now. And so that she can um okay hold on peace peace queen how you doing OG I'm sorry these buttons are sensitive over here Yes. And she's oh not quite God. on the screen yet. It's okay. So, the worst thing just happened right now. So, I was pressing buttons, and these buttons just started changing, and I just banned her from the whole program accidentally. Oh, my God. 
can you re can you resend her the link? I, I banned if she's banned from the dog and crow. I pressed the button and it went to ban instead of going to join. And she got oh my god. Hey, but she but she can kind of, come back in. She can't come back in if you give her the link. It's like giving somebody else a link. So just hold on, hold on. let me just pause everything. Let me get off this show real quick. Mimi, take over. But um, <laughs> what I'll do is I'm gonna bring in Deacon Gore and um, you know, pretty much man, brother. Um, welcome to the show. And I'm um, please introduce, you know, where you from and everything like that. All right. The uh what's going on, everybody? Sorry about the tardiness. It's crazy out here in this world. Uh this technology is kind of crazy, so adopting to it. But uh I'm Deacon Gore, um, artist, producer, scientist, a whole lot of other things, father, son, brother from the west side of Chicago, uh from Holy City. Um <clears throat> just out here doing what I do, you know what I'm saying? Just like everybody else, but uh just trying to uh, be great before I'm on the other side of the ground, you know what I mean? Yes, yes. Yeah, this is actually the time to be great, so yeah. thank you so much for joining us, even in your tardiness. So you're, you're never late, you're right on time. That part, <laughs> it's raining out here and everything. I'm out here in Florida. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> A little bit of rain looks good. Sprinkle is good. Yeah, it, uh, it's cleansing. You know what yes. I mean? Yeah. So yes, yes. A yes. lot of a lot of cleansing going on. I'm uh yeah. this this is my first um um uh product like this. I ain't never done nothing like this. I'm I'm more to the back, but uh I said it asked me, so I had to go ahead and do it. Cause um, yes. um a lot of people to me they be on some uh fake ish, you know what I mean? But bro been real since day one since I met him, so I don't care if it's 10 people in here. I don't care if there's no people here or just us. I'm rocking with them till we gone. That's you know right. I mean? Yeah. That's that way, right. brother, salute to you, man. I appreciate that showing up salute. and taking the time to be here, man. You know, much respect to you. You already know. Um, I got your back, too. Just let me know what you need. Love. Say less. <clears throat> so what are we on today? I'm contacting, um, I'm contacting OG right now. Okay. And he said that she's been blocked. So let me um, try to figure this out. <laughs> I'm going to put the screen on Mimi and just go ahead and kind of talk about the show, but I'm going to leave the screen for a second because I got to figure this out. Okay, let's go. Well, you guys already know, um, you know, uh, it's interesting because Jazzy and I had we ripped up a little conversation a little earlier. And, and what we're going to do is we're going to talk a little bit more about, you know, what we had started talking about. But here we are. We are here now. The subject matter is second childhood, the fear of adulthood. And what this is all about, first of all, let, let me rewind the tape just a little bit, because I know we got some technical difficulties going on that has kind of like made us go a little bit backwards. Let me just talk a little bit about Mimi Acosta. My name is Mimi Acosta. Um, mm -hmm. I am founder and CEO of MIA Entertainment Group. So I'm involved in TV, film, music productions, a little bit of everything. I do location scouting, um, talent scout. I take artists out to LA, showcase them before the labels. Um, I do have a distribution deal with Sony, so I have the opportunity to take artists overseas as well. So there's a lot going on in in with this chick right here, <laughs> just like Jazzy. <laughs> Jazzy has a, a world of everything going on, and, and I do too. And I know how that could be, honey, especially when it's a one woman, a one man show, you know, doing it all. And we're all trying to do the right things for people, but sometimes you get people that you got to kind of like. But um, yeah, so um, you can find me at MIA Entertainment Group on IG all together, MIA Entertainment Group or MIA Entertainment Group.com. So back to the show, because I don't like talking too much about me. I just like talking about what we're going to be talking about tonight. So <laughs> second childhood, the fear of adulthood. To me, and I'm going to start with me first, um, I feel that that's kind of like, you know, you've been home too long, you reach the age of 18, it's time to go, you know? Um, you know, a lot of people get very, very comfortable with the fact that mommy and daddy got us or mom got us or pop got us or grandma got us and don't understand that they need to live their lives too. You know, I was not in that position and I guess I'm going to talk a little bit more about that. But um, Jazzy, I'm going to come to you first. What does that mean to you? What, was the, what does the topic mean to you? Well, it means to me in my head people who are blaming their parents to get a second life. You know, I know a lot of adults who 
still blame their parents for their mistakes today. They be 50 years old saying their life is messed up because of what their mother did to them when they was 10 and 12 or whatever. You know, right. some people just don't want to hold accountability to their own actions. And that's what, what I thought it meant to me about getting a second win, you know, with your parents. And just blaming them to me, blaming them for your your mistakes that you you're still you're studying making. I know some it ain't every parent ain't great, and every parent don't raise children well. They a lot of them don't. So we're not talking about those children. We're talking about children who got brought up decent, but anything that they parent did to them. They hold it against them in their in a life today. Right. Right. Got you. Welcome back. Welcome back, OG. <laughs> Thank you. Honey, we ain't mean to block you, baby. <laughs> no, <I'm, laughs> it's cool. I'm happy to be back. Um, <laughs> okay, well, I'm gonna yeah, I'm, I'm so gonna sorry. I'm gonna Yes, yeah, go ahead. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. So first let me explain. First, thank you, Jazzy, for your um for your opinion in reference to what that means to today's topic. Really appreciate that. It was very well said. Second, I want to, man, I'm so, so sorry, babe. You know what I'm saying? I was not trying to block you, bang you from the show. <laughs> Believe that. You know the love is real. Okay. The love is pure over here. You know what I'm talking about? I'm, you know what I'm saying? You're a really no, good God. person. And the thing tweaked, and it made me press the wrong button. I was not trying to block you or nothing like that. Or slow down your road. You feel me? So please, let's just act like that ain't happened for a second. And please remind <laughs> what your name is, where you no from. Problem. And how people can support your platform, please. Okay. Well, I want to express my gratitude. Thank you for having me on the show. Um, again, another show. And um, my name is Nelly, the OG Rebel. I'm an herbalist, skincare formulator, and I make my own soap. And um, I focus on on body butters, body oils, hair growth oils, um, face wash, and I'm I'm gonna start messing with shampoos and conditioners soon and that's my that's my um my path right now being an all right absolutely that's what's up and i highly recommend you all purchase any of her products and you know how can people um contact you oh, or okay yeah, yeah. Your um my personal instagram is um the og rebel and my shop's instagram is organic greatness and um, my website is www.organicgreatness.com Okay, absolutely. That way. Appreciate you. And if you don't mind, you know, um, we're going to jump to Deacon and then we're going to come back to you about what the topic means to you, right? So okay. first, um, Deacon, Mr. Gore, uh -huh. if you could, you know, please just share what today's topic means to you when you hear second childhood, fear of adulthood, sir. Well, <clears throat> as uh, uh, Mimi and uh, Jazzy was talking, uh, you know, I, I try to be a... a an embodiment of my name so i instantly went to the bible and i came up with ezekiel 18 uh mm -hmm. verses 19 to 20 you know what i mean where it says the one who sins is the one who would die the child will not share the guilt of the parent nor will the parent share the guilt of the child the righteousness of the righteous will be credited to them and the wickedness of the wicked will be charged against them Woo! Mm -hmm. right now. that is so deep there we go. <laughs> oh my gosh, I got goosebumps all over my body. Yeah. Yeah. When he, said, when he said he opened up that bottle, I'm like, I'm right now. Yeah, that's I'll be on that. So it's just like when I hear it, you know, because we all got opinions, and it's like I think it, it gets skewed because a lot of our opinions, um, we forget that it either fall on the size of good or bad, you know, mm -hmm. ultimately. You know what I'm saying? So right. it's just like when I hear that, I think um I instantly thought. Like, man, no, nah, the, the parents should pay for it. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, nah, not really. You know what I'm saying? Because we all here uh, on our own accord. So it's just like we, we aren't to take upon each other's debt. But just because uh, when it's time to leave um, out that house, a parent blaming a child or a child blaming a parent, I just don't subscribe in that. You know what I mean? Because right. it's like um, at the end of the day, um, that casket is built for one. You know what I'm saying? So whether it's for your mother, whether it's for your father, eventually we all got to go in there and see that judgment ourselves. So it's just like 
to, to me, I, I try to keep my my ground and in, into the uh, Old Testament word. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Very, very well said. Appreciate that and sharing the scripture as well, man. That was deep. That just got, that just took the show to a whole other level. Appreciate that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, you got me over here yeah, checking cool. myself. Watch what you say, Mimi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, no, just... Much love, much respect. No, yeah. Thank it, you for that. Yes. Um, I'll go ahead and pass the mic to um OG Rebel, please. Um, and you know, when you hear that um topic, um second childhood, fear of adulthood, what comes to mind with you? Well, um to me it's not too much about being afraid of adulthood. It's more about like um like the regrets and the lack of preparedness when I, when I, like, I should have been paying attention, you know, to like my parents, to the, like other people, advice, like staying in school, um, not, not choosing the streets and all that. I feel like all that, um, going through all that, it is, it's, it just feels like I'm still trying to get it right. Like as far as like being an adult and, and finding stability, you know? Mm. So, so I'm I'm not running away from it, but it's more like okay, um, I, like my mind, like the 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 mindset that I have now to be able to make things right for myself, like I didn't have it back then, and and I didn't give my, myself like the chance, you know, to be led, and and to be prepared to take on adulthood when when I should have. You know? Hey, well, again, no pressure. You know what I'm saying? I think you're actually doing an excellent job. Actually, mm-hmm. I don't know your whole background, whatever, like that. But, you know, what I see mm-hmm. you doing today is, you know, that's grown women business, what you mm-hmm. over there doing. So much respect to what you do. True. Thank I you. instantly I'm, thought, I'm too. I'm proud of myself. I, I, as well, I agree as well. I instantly mm-hmm. thought, like, what what are you comparing it to? Like, is it the other adults around you or where you would have just liked to have been by now? Ask me that again. Like what? Like what are you mirroring it? Mirroring it to? Like are you? Like what's the measurement to say you fall ab- above or below what you where you would like to be right now? Like 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 what's the measurement of success or failure? Like how do you? Because I'm I'm what I said. It it seems like you're doing rather well to me. So it's just like to hear. No you right say- right. But let's say for example like like. Like like for my mom, it's like she 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 would have she would have wanted like a, a a degree on the wall, you know, okay. like of like for me to had had done something like to go to college or whatever. And and even um at one point she wanted to start a business, like she wanted to help me start a business because I had my son very young, and she wanted for me to um because I grew up in in New Jersey and she wanted for me to move with them to um to florida Mm -hmm. and start fresh you know get a start a business and all that and and like i wasn't trying to to do that at Mm. the moment you know so now now that i have my kids and i sit back and i think about you know they what if i would have went to florida right right right. right. well well well, i did like by the time i went to florida things were different but yeah like if i would have had um taken that path all you know, right. like, like that my mom wanted me to take. Well, I take what, accountability what? For, for my choices and all that. And, and I am trying my best, you know, to do right and all that. So. If I may say something, yeah, there, are, there are grown adults that are not even where you are, sweetheart. Right, right, right. So, so um, and, and I'm going to say this because, you know, we come from different walks in life. And you're going to have the parents that are going to be like, look, I think you should come this way and you don't want to when things happen. Do not beat on yourself anymore. Like, like I, on this day today, I just, after you get off the show, I just want you to really like go into prayer about it. You know, it seems like you know how to do that. You know, I, I see you. I, I see you. I see, I see your beads. I see, I see you. And you're, you're on your way. You know, don't beat yourself up anymore because one, you have kids that are not looking up to you like, mommy, what's up? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, you don't want to beat yourself up and keep yourself back 
you want to pray about it, you have a conversation with moms about it, mom, hey, I apologize for the things that I put you through, but guess what? This is what I'm doing to get things better, and I'm going to make you proud of me, and just keep moving. Like, don't beat your, on yourself up anymore, because you, you got this. You got this. You got your business going, and I'm going to tell you now, like I tell everybody that comes on the show every time I get on the show, you got your stuff going on. Do not hesitate to share it with us, because we will blast your stuff. You will not have no oil or no butter, nothing left. Okay, because <laughs> everybody is on their path to getting all natural and having all this natural stuff. People are getting away from all the chemicals. So mm -hmm. I could see your business booming, Mama. Okay, so yeah, we can get back to it. I we'll appreciate talk. that. <laughs> can I pick back, back yeah. off what OG said? <clears throat> because I felt her, because I understand her, because I could say that, like, I had a child when I was young, right? 16, 17. So I could see her saying like, okay, if I had to listen to my mom, if I had to listen to my mom and said, don't have sex and don't do this and don't do that and don't do that, maybe I'll be further in my life than, you know, if I hadn't did those things that they said I shouldn't have done, right? Mm -hmm. But, But now that I'm here with my children, that I'm so glad I had, right? Everything happens the way it's supposed to happen. Mm -hmm. God gets you ready for your timeline, not your mother's timeline, not your father's timeline, but your timeline. Because just like I told a friend the other day, the position that I'm in now, if God had to show me he showed me my talents when I was very young, like nine and 10, but he let me forget about them while I was raising my children. But if he had showed me what I could, what I was going to be today when I was 20, I'd probably be dead or something right now on drugs or it would have been too much for me to handle. I didn't have a wisdom then to handle what I have now, mm -hmm. you know? So, you know, things happen how they supposed to, oh my God. No, absolutely. Things definitely happened to back off a <laughs> second where she was saying exactly how, you know, what will be shall be, you know what I mean? And that's the way I look at things. And mm -hmm. first also, OG, I want to um, thank you for, you know, your opinion in reference to the topic of the show. Thank you. Well said, of course. And mm -hmm. um, we weren't trying to put you on no hot seat, nothing like that. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, with all love, though, let me, um, you know, give my little opinion, too, real quick about before Jazzy comes back. She'll be coming back in. Looks like maybe um, her phone died or phone dropped or something to that nature. She'll be right back soon. But uh, when it comes to this today's topic, when it comes to ch second childhood, fear of adulthood, you know, when I put this together, it was inspired by, I'm a big Nas fan. Um, and I grew up on Nas. He had a song called Second Childhood. And I just, you know, was kind of thinking of that and what that always meant to me. So, you know, never scripted, just, you know, what comes to the top of my dome is that, Basically, like when I think of second childhood, fear of adulthood, just people that not so much live with their parents still because people live with their parents for whatever different reasons that they still stay and um, have that together in fam family, um, mm -hmm. keeping the family together. You know, maybe their parents are ill or whatever the case may be, or maybe they um, need a system with finances or whatever the case may be. So, but it's just coming up, comes down to wanting to dream still. Like some people are afraid to, just go out there and dream and then go after their dream and see if it can come true or not. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? That's part of adulthood, I feel like, to me. And that's just my mm -hmm. personal opinion. Is growing up is want to want more for yourself. Be able to go around the house. And if you want to walk around butt naked, you can do that. You got the liberty to do that. You hear me? Like, <laughs> that everyone deserves that. You hear me? Like, everyone deserves to have that, that friend that they want to have in their company you know what I'm saying, come to day career sometime and just chill out, have a drink, watch some Netflix, chill, relax, whatever the case may be. You hear me? Right. Like, I gotta keep it fun, though. Keep it funny. But yeah, just real talk, though, like, this part of growing up is just going out there and attack the world and paying your own bills and not relying on somebody to, you know what I'm saying, have to put food in your mouth all the time when they work so hard to make the sacrifice to bring you into this world. That's right. just how I feel about it. But again, no pressure because everybody finds their way at their own time. And like me, I'm a late bloomer myself. You know what I mean? Like, um, 
I felt like I knew where my talent was, but it took me still a while to get out there to really say like, okay, I'm going to go after this. I'm going to do this. You know what I mean? And um, that's just, that's just my opinion of how that is. So again, this is the square table. We can get back in your square only at the square table with me and Mimi. And today's topics for those that are just tuning in is the fear of adulthood, second childhood. You hear me? So with that being said, um, well, we wait for Jazzy to come back. Hopefully she can get back in. Her phone must have died. Can, um, can I go get a put a, can I go put a jacket on real quick? I'm cold. Oh yeah, go for it. I'm gonna go ahead and pass the mic to um Deacon. And um, yeah. you know, what what's been said, brother? You know, what comes to mind? Um, that made me think because uh my mama had me when she was 16, right? So okay. uh I'm the first grandchild but i was raised like i'm the youngest child of my grandparents because okay. like 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 they uh the women say og and uh, uh rebel said uh uh it was just they were still kids so i saw that it was raised by my grandparents you know what i mean so it's like then you fast forward 2017 my son's mom passed from breast cancer and mm -hmm. it's like okay it's just me and him now so like for instance like right now we reload i just relocated from los angeles to come here with my son to make sure he's grounded in florida while he go pursue his masters in uh film production you know what i'm saying so it's like um i had him at 20. so my mom had me at 16. i had my son at 20 when i was in uh, undergrad so it's like I don't know. I'm I'm worried about that that nest thing because at the end of the day, I think the parents are, uh, should always be available to be guidance for their children mm -hmm. um, and a clutch, a uh, uh, crutch if they need to. Because, uh, but it is a thin line between leaning on that because you want to also push and motivate your children too. So it's just like, um, for me, like, yeah, I don't know. Like right now, my mom such a tight-knit family like my mom and grandma are in the same house so it's mm -hmm. just like um I, I that's the nest you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. so i look at it like um to me blacks don't have a nest that they could return to whether it's their home or more nest like the square table you know what i'm saying like it, it's not many places where we could go to just be like hey uh I need to fall back and get my ish together or i right. need to my whether it's mental whether it's it, it don't matter you know what i'm saying like we, whether it's financial mental or physical it, it, we typically don't have that nest so mm -hmm. to me i look at the second childhood as as long as the child or whether male or female out here trying to do what they do um and growing and learning in this world i think the nest should always be open and remain open and that child and that parent they should always have an open line of communication to make sure that that bird knows that they can return to the nest so it's like for me um i know yeah we got our own journeys but at the end of the day we're no eagles we're trying to soar we're human you know what i'm saying we're not out here just to be alone we're more like cranes you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, where we, <laughs> like where we just trying to get our food by the water. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I like the whole community of it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, well, I take it a little deeper. Um, um, I was having a conversation yesterday about togetherness. And uh, um, a friend of mine brought up the importance of bees and um, and how they work together. And um uh and hierarchy and all of that like and it's just like okay i had a little rebuttal towards it because i'm like at the end of the day they are all um dedicated to that queen bee meaning if something happens to one of the other bees um if it's out of line with the queen bee that bee pretty much on its own you know what i mean so it's like but uh, i ran i went on a run and then i ran back and as i'm running back i saw a dead gecko and um this gecko had moved and i'm like damn how did gecko move but when i look closer and i stopped there was a bunch of ants carrying the gecko oh. so it was just like you know so it was like whoa so Working right at the moment, like, you see what i'm saying right there i understood what she said and as 
as they was moving this gecko, I hopped right on the back on the phone with her, like, yo, I, I understood what you meant about them about them bees. And I and I went for, and I FaceTimed and I was like, yo, look. And she was like, what? Floating gecko? I was like, nah, it's not floating, yo. Like it's a bunch of ants and moving this thing. <laughs> so and it's moving it closer to the dirt. So I'm like, whoa. So I, I got a different thing again about that nest idea. Why? Because mm-hmm. uh, one ant sees some food, it's going to say, hey, y'all, here goes some food. And all of them ants are just going to march and they're going to go over there and they're going to bring that food back to the nest. So mm-hmm. I I subscribe in more of that togetherness mm-hmm. type of vibe. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's real well, well put, brother. Thanks for all the analogies, too. Yes. Only in Florida, where you see all these geckos and stuff like that. I've never seen <laughs> One day, one day. <laughs> but hey, I want to yeah. welcome Jazzy back to the show. Uh, welcome back to the show, Jazzy. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Jazzy, your message was a little bit strong. And what happened was, strong. click. <laughs> I, know. I, know. I, know. I know. You said, because whenever happened, will happen as soon as you said it. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> okay. My phone went there. Okay. I was like, what? Well, I was like, what? Well, I've been on the continue. Yeah, please. Yeah, you have, we have a delay. Uh, yeah, I see yeah, now I, I, got, see a delay. I got a delay. Mm-hmm. It's a super delay. What y'all want me to do? I mean, go, go ahead. Okay. All right. So okay. let me uh All right, go, so back. Let me, uh, go back. Go back. It's gonna it's gonna drive me it's crazy. crazy. It's gonna drive me crazy. Well, maybe come in and come back out. I mean, go out and come back yeah. in. Yeah, hang up. Okay. Yeah, cause, cause okay. It's weird. Right, because this right. is bad. Because this is bad. Yeah. And I guess while well, um, we're gonna move on to um, Mimi real quick. Yes, while she while she's um getting herself together and coming back, I wanted to piggyback off of what Deacon was saying in in a in a in a different kind of way. Even though, mm-hmm. God, I'm so with you. Um. Mm-hmm. So growing up at home, it was really, really different for us, I guess, because my mom was my mom was my mom was something else. <laughs> but but, you know, we love her dearly. That's you know, that's my girl, you know, and um, and she was in the when y'all get your 12th grade diploma, because that was our get out the house, right. get your 12th grade diploma to us and you got to go like I don't care right. where you go. You got to go. And, it, and she was really, really real with it with me. I mean, and, and I'm the only girl is, you know, myself and my three brothers. And, um, and she was really on some, it, it was so, it was, it was hard for me because at 17, I graduated. It's like Wednesday, I graduated. And by Friday, it was like, um, you really got to go. And wow, I thank wow, God wow. that when I used to, when I used to work, because what I used to do is, you know, we had this thing where I, I was working from like 14. And when I started working, I would, you know, I'd give my mom my checks. And what I would do is I would cash my check and start keeping money, keeping money, giving her keeping, giving her keeping. That by the time I graduated from high school, I had almost about $4,000 in my mattress. Mm. Nobody used to come into my room. Nobody knew the money was there. Nobody knew I had money. I always knew that because I was so, I was blamed a lot for a lot. You know, being like my father, having that strong voice, you know, oh, you know, he's all that. You're just like him. It, It was always that battle from little. You know, and my mom had dropped out of school like early on, like in the seventh grade. So now we're growing up, we're passing her. It's like, oh, y'all think y'all better than me. Well, let me tell you, it was a battle back and forth for years. But the one thing that I'm very thankful for is that I stayed in her in her air until she went back to school and got her 12th grade diploma in 2010. Mm. All right. right. And the whole relationship changed because I was like, you know what? You got to do things for you so you can be better for yourself. So you can be better for us because at the end of the day, we like, we really sneak, like you're our mom. Like, you know, we're not going to shun you. We love you, but we ain't not going to have all that, that animosity and that, you know, the toxicity and all that type of stuff. Right. And, you know, you want to be in a position where God forbid something happened. You want to be able to pack your stuff and say, you know what, I'm going home. I'm going to take care of moms because she's going through this or she's going through that. You know, she's actually a two-time cancer survivor. She's going through it again. We just got the news last week that we're back to that drawing board. So, you know, it's a lot of love, but at the same token, it's like, lady, (laughs) you know, let us be there because, you know, the independency, I don't, I don't get that. 
and I and I never got the y'all got to go. And and you know, we never really had the place to come back to because of how we were thrown out. Like y'all just mm. get away. And I got away. I got away and I got away from the island and then I got away and came up to the states and you know, like our relationship is touch and go. But I love mm. my mother and I say that a billion times. I love her, you know, but it's a lot of touch and go because of those years. You miss out on a lot when you shun your kids. And the one thing that, you know, that I've realized is like, you know what, like I, ha I have to establish myself to the point where, you know, my daughter's going through some stuff. And, you know, when she comes home, then she got home to come to and regroup and get back out there. You know, it's the one thing that I've also wanted for my son, but we're not in that place. You know, he's in a different place where he wants to be. Yeah. And you got to let the kids be where they want to be. You know, but I definitely, Deacon, I definitely commend you on doing what you did as far as, you know, uprooting and moving from Cali to Florida to make sure that your son is grounded and got what he needs. Because kids need that. See, today, things are different. Today, you want to have a relationship with your kids because you don't know what's going to happen when they go out that door. You don't know. <laughs> you know, and I'm getting goosebumps uh, saying that because it's a scary, scary world that we're living really in. Scary. Like, you want to be able to see your kids come and go. It's like, okay, I want you to have your independence, but thank you, God, for bringing him or her home because at least I know where you're at. At least I know with me, you know, we're not today in today's world, we're not safe anywhere. But I feel like when you have a grasp on them, it's like you feel a little better, like, you know, okay. They got home to come to or we're around each other or in the same city or whatever it is you know so you're not in some other land going through some stuff we can't get to you right away so i mean i totally get it there's so many different angles to this topic tonight and i absolutely love it and i respect you guys for all that you know for all that you're bringing to the conversation because even at my age you know and i'm over 50 even at my age, I still, you know, I'm still, I still go through it, you know, in conversations with other people too, not just giving my advice or how I feel about certain things, but taking on other people's advice too. And like, oh, okay, I never looked at it that way. Like Deacon, when you come in with the prayer, I ain't with the with the Bible verses, I ain't never, I ain't never heard of that before. So when you said that, I was just like, okay, I'm gonna have to go back and go back to the tape and rewind this other way and find out where that's at because I, I really yeah. like that. Like that, it's really deep what you said, and it's in the Bible. So it's yeah. like we're not to blame one another, you know. With that too, it made me uh, think. Remember, I said we're not eagles. Um, wh why I said that, um, eagles they have a thing. So say they have uh, three to four children, right? They'll they'll feed them. And they'll feed, they'll feed them, but they don't get into it. They let them fight over the food. So eventually, one or two of the eagles eventually dies because mm -hmm. the other two are just prepared for the world. And that's why I'm like, we're not eagles. So to me, like, yeah. it's just like, because we humans, to me, we got to put in thought and effort to make sure we not um, activating our lizard brains. You know what I'm saying? Because our brains having the three layers that it do, we could easily default to the lizard brain category and stop mm -hmm. thinking and, and start thinking of our children and our offspring or our relatives or our blood, whatever, as competition opposed to mm -hmm. somebody that we're already intertwined with. And that makes me think of the, the, the curses of Leviticus 28 again. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So when God say for disobedience, I'm going to put the problems in your home. Children will eat the uh, uh, the parents, and the parents will eat the children. Mm. And, and I look at that, and I'm like, I want to argue against it, but it's right there already in Leviticus, telling me that all of the problems of the world will consist and persist in my household first. Mm -hmm. So yeah. it's like, yeah. I'm, when I look at it, I try to attack it from that point of view. Like, nah, that like, yeah, my first enemies was my blood. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like my the first people, people, yeah. people you know, wanting to hold me back were the people that I know. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, so right. when you look at it, like it's it's harsh, mm -hmm. but it's just it's a truth in this land that governs us. And um mm -hmm. we're not eagles. We try right. to soar, but we got them second and third layers of our brain that hopefully could bring us to the tables and have these types of conversations to remind ourselves that we're not lizards. That's right. Yeah. I want to. Um, I'm sorry. Let me um, real quick go ahead, go to Jazzy, and then we're gonna come back to um, OG. Thank you for that, Deacon. And of course, thank go you. Ahead, go ahead. 
I just want to make sure everybody get a chance to speak while it's on. We had a time still. But yes. appreciate everybody's opinion. But let me get back to Jazzy. And we're going to go back to you, OG, um, right after Jazzy. I want to put you back on Mimi. Mimi. As far as her saying about her saying about leaving the house, in the house in the at seventeen, I'm still I'm still hearing that back. Hearing that back. But um, anyway, but, um, anyway, the, the, black, community, the black community, community, I believe, does, I believe kick, does, out does kick out the kids. Mm -hmm. We kick them out we in the world, and it's rough out here. And they not prepared. You had the thought to say the. Ah, uh, she was trying to go. She just froze. Yes. Yeah, she was trying to go. Uh. Oh, Jazzy. <laughs> <laughs> Jazzy, yeah. Jazzy, Jazzy. <laughs> Why the universe messing with you? Because <laughs> she tried. She tried to no get words out. We don't come why. bring it back to Jazzy. Um, we don't go over to um OG. So with everything that's been said, you know what comes to mind. I know you got a lot on your mind. You also a deep thinker. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I agree with um what Mimi said earlier as far as like having a grip on your kids. I feel like that's very important, you know, and um like in my situation I'm I'm very um like although I made the choices that I, I've made and all that, I I do well one of the things that was important for me was to have a, a you know, a bond with my kids. And um although I was in and out and I feel like now that they're grown they come to me for just about everything, you know, mm -hmm. and I'm able to, to um, give them like that first advice before they, they get it from anyone else. Love it. You know, and, and me knowing, knowing better, although I made bad choices myself before it's like now I'm able to, to properly lead them, That's you know, because of the choices yeah. that I made. That's hard. Before, so. So which is what I was, which I, I'm so sorry. Which is no, what I was ahead, saying ahead. earlier, which is what I was saying earlier when I said, like, really and truly don't don't count, don't beat yourself up because you went through everything that you went through for a reason. Now you can talk to your kids and be like, look, this is what this is the reason why y'all were where y'all were or things happen for y'all the way that things happen, because this is what happened to me. You know, right. and now I'm in a place where I can tell you so you don't have to go through the same thing. I'm trying to make it and, easier for you. Right. But yeah, listen. Right. And even to that, you can't even be a hundred too, uh, too much, a hundred percent hard on them because all of us have to go through our experiences to know what we want and what right. we don't want. Like, like for me, I had to, when I was put out, I had to figure things out and it took mm -hmm. two kids and crazy relationships. And I went through hell in the world. And one day I just had to like, you know what, God, can you just take over? Right. You know, because let go and let God. Right, because in today's world, folks have ended up, if not jail, dead, because they don't know how to handle stuff. But me, I had to kind of like lay way back, you know, and put it in his hands and be like, look, you know, people talking to me about God all the time, and I'm not listening too much. But check this out, God, you need to take over because I don't know <laughs> I how to do, do this. this. <laughs> I, I can't do this on my own. And and when I hear people say that. I, I, I always shake my head like, amen, because I know what that you is. come face to face. You come face to face in the mirror like, check this out. God this that's requires in something me. else. Right. I was told yeah. that God in me, and I hear that a lot. So guess what? God in me, work it out yeah. and get all these demons from around me and anything that's not for me, cleanse house because I got to move forward. And you'd be surprised how even those type of words, you know, even on your kids or on yourself makes a huge difference so I i'm i mean when i hear the word rebel i hear like yeah rebel was a badass back in the day <laughs> <You know? laughs> but i'm really i'm really um i'm really honored to be in your space you know i really am and i'm and i'm really here I for your growth it. i love it i'm here for your growth thank you you're welcome That's hard. i appreciate That's it guys. i agree yeah no it's definitely appreciate you appreciate it yeah yeah, and let me um, also just say this as well. You know, when I speak from my perspective, um, everyone on this panel has children. I'm the only one on here who don't have no children. I never got started. I'm 43 years old, don't have any wow. kids, anything like that. So I might come off a little bit harsh 
You know what I'm talking about? But <laughs> even with that being said, I didn't leave the house until I was 24 years old. You know what I mean? And yeah. um, I left the house at 24, you know, but I still was out there still trying to attack my dreams. And you know what I mean? I'm a, a college mm-hmm. dropout. Let that be known as well. You know what I mean? I never finished college. and never graduated. I just, you know, kind of jumped off the porch and kind of was finding my way, you know, when it comes to that. But still didn't leave the house at 24. But was still um, able to have been working at 24. I had already was working with a magazine company for like four years um, mm-hmm. and just like kind of just doing different things. You know what I'm saying? And just getting out there in the rural. I had hustles, you know, just, you know, challenging myself so that when I was able to get out there, you know, what I mean, I, I knew I had kind of like a little plan. But again, I don't mean to come off harsh to any of the audience or future audience that may see this. You know what I mean? I love kids. Mike just ain't got no kids. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> <laughs> that way, that way. Mike has no kids, so I do love kids. Not yet. And, um, Not I, yet. I definitely salute um, parents because I don't know what that is. Like, you know, no one can relate to someone who has children and how you all were able to balance your dreams versus helping your children find their dreams and nurture them. So that's hard right. in itself, and that's a challenge. So I don't know what that's like. You know what I mean? I can only imagine. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah. So with that being said, you know, um, man, I really want to welcome again. Thank you for everybody opinion. You know, the show's not over. We had forty eight minutes actually, but um, you know, the last five minutes of the show, you know, we do something kind of special on this show. So um, but I don't want to pass the mic back to um, Dinky real quick. And um, uh, you know, we're gonna come back to OG because Jazzy looks like unfortunately she might not be able to get back on the program. But we do want to thank her. For um, being on the show, you know, salute yes. to her. Make sure you all support Jazzy. I follow No her. nonsense, the poet. Follow her. Um, very dynamic person out here in the industry, and definitely someone mm-hmm. you should know. With that being said, let me get back to um, Deacon real quick. And you know, anything else you would like to share, brother? Um, share it on the topic. Uh, I'm sorry, hold pause. With that being said, Jazzy just coming back to the show. <laughs> all right, all right. No, so let, let her go ahead. Yeah. I, I want no, her no, to go. No, my yeah. bad, bro. Not my bad. No, you good. So let me you make good. sure that she gets some more talk time. Because she was going to turn up on what she's going to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am so sorry, guys. I am so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> But I'm just gonna hurry up and say what I gotta say. Far as the black community, far as the black community putting the children out too soon into this rough world, and as many were talking about her daughter, I mean about her mother. I mean about her mother. I'm gonna give her kudos for bring breaking generational curses because our parents didn't know what we know. Like they didn't know, they didn't have to have education to get a job. You get in the point where here in Detroit, you get a plan, have a good life with no degree, no uh diploma. So they didn't in turn tell us they didn't know, tell us, tell us to. To look where the money going. Where the money going. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? They only knew what they, they knew. So with my so children with and breaking generational curses, curses, I started looking started in the looking future where the money was at. Money was at. Mm-hmm. Where they should go to college, which 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 should they take up in college. Even though they may not or they may do, the least I have other advice. Right. So like far a, a as relay uh, race, like handed the baton. You see what like I'm your saying? Your mama handed you but, the baton, but, but, and you get to hand them the baton, and they get to hand the other, yeah. Mm-hmm. Exactly. exactly. But see, our parents, a lot of our parents didn't hand the baton. We just had to get it out the mud. Get it out the mud. Oh yeah. The baby boomer kids. Baby boomer kids. You know, because they was all working at the plant. They they weren't looking at education. Looking at education. Not here in the Motor City. The motor city. But we were just really raising ourselves. ourselves. They come from that South where it's either I they did I I, I I mean this respectfully, but if we born and raised north of that Mason Dixon, we we the descendants of the people that ran. And when mm-hmm. I mean ran, I mean ran for to the north for jobs. 
See, we right. st- they we right. sold our labor. A lot of us stayed in the South and maintained our labor and fought against it. Hence, why we got so many blacks with Confederate like mind states, you know. So, but at the end of the day, mm-hmm. a lot of our parents, like my mom, like I said, she had me at sixteen, but she born and she didn't move from Cazesco, Mississippi, till she was eleven. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? So okay. her, she's literally born in Mississippi. So it's just mm-hmm. like now when they coming from Mississippi. They literally going north for the jobs because in the mm-hmm. south they knew they weren't going to get that money. Right. So now yeah. when they go to the south and they waste basically waste their time uh, pawning in their labor, we got the chance to see oh, oh that ain't the way to do it. Mm-hmm. And uh, right. okay, well let me uh, let us just try the college route to to like you said find a little bit more ways to chase and follow the money because at the end of the day that's what we're trying to accrue so we could take care of our peoples so mm-hmm. it's like if if they get up here and they find out oh man the job went away now we're figuring out education now that we got a lot of education like i finished college to the tune of i'm down here too to get a third well i, just, I got my third i got three master's degrees but i'm down here to get my phd so it's just like I want to make them call me doctor for the purpose of what they did to my mama and granddaddy and grandma. You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. it's just like, that's why I say the baton, like my granddaddy passed before I could finish undergrad. So it's just like, damn, but that's who I I went to school because I was afraid to tell him I'm not going to school. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. I was afraid to tell him, like, ooh, because it was just like, nah, boo, you going to college, you doing better, you doing this, you doing that. So a lot of my trajectory wasn't, I was birthed with this responsibility. So with him, Pat, I wish he would have lived or went to my undergrad um, graduation because I'd have never went to college. Let me, no let me tell you, let me say this. Let me say this, Deacon. He was there. Yeah, that part. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, don't think he wasn't. Yeah. I want you to know you that me? he was there and he is here listening to yeah. you. So you I just, you know, yes, that, that way. So we got And I want to say one time. more valid point that I think is so valid. Go ahead, Jazzy. Please. Is that um I'm getting a brain fart. Getting a brain fart. No, you got it. <laughs> okay. Because okay. I'm thinking back off everything that Mina said. Mina said. Because she made so because many made valid, so point. many valid points. Point. Was it part about a mom? You said breaking generational curses. Okay, yeah, generational that, thank you, thank you. Right. Now, yeah. now I'm gonna go now back I'm with the graduate, graduate over here. Um, um far as far mother as and daughter mother getting along from, from the Bible. Bible. Now okay. in the Bible, in the Bible it, says it says that mother and daughter, mother are, daughter gonna, are gonna be against be each other. And when I learned that, I said, okay, I know the Bible says we're going to be against each other, so I'm going to try to prevent that. When I see it coming, I'm going to try to maneuver it right. Since I know it's there and it's going to happen. Preparedness. And that's what I did. I got a daughter that's 32 and one of 23. And I I raised them like that. And they combated towards me. I knew it was coming. And I knew it could break us. us. But I knew what God had put in me. We're going to battle. Battle Battle it right. Battle it right. Battle it right. See, but you can't. How would we battle it without the words or conversations like this? Because OG, Mm -hmm. OG, quiet over there, but. She 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 put it out there like like she was living over there with a lot of regret or something, you know what I'm saying? So the souls came out, was like, you know what I mean? That encouragement, because sometimes that jug of water you carry in is heavy, but you just need that encouragement, that word to be like, nah, you got it. You know what I'm saying? You got yeah. it. You got it. You got it, OG. Yeah. And the thing about that is that at the end of the day, at least you still have your moms around it. You can still have a conversation and be like, look, mom, I know I put you through hell and I'm sorry. 
um here's this um here's all this oil and all this good stuff okay proud she now she brags she brags about you know, me being an herbalist and all that so yeah see that's what that's i'm saying it. it's like it's like you you know every, everybody has to go through what they got to go through in their time and everybody has a story and the purpose for us going through all the hell that we go through is so we can be able to inspire other women younger girls like people that are going through that are challenging because you you have the little princesses that are home that they're okay and they have nothing going on it's everything is beautiful and then you mm -hmm. have the challenge you know and mm -hmm. we inspire everybody because there are people that have not gone through anything in life that look up to us like oh my god had i gone through that i don't know how i would survive mm -hmm. so you would yeah. be surprised the people that you inspire you inspire people that have gone through it and you inspire people that have not you know what I'm saying? And, and, and the, uh, it's all about moving forward, doing what you do, being the best at what you do, sharing what you do, not being scared of what is or who said or what anybody's thinking. Do your thing, honey. Have the have have the have the best. Have the best butters. Have the best oil. Have the best. I can't wait for your shampoo and conditioners. Let's go. Let's yeah. go, for real. Yeah. I'm there. Yeah. All of that. And, and I'll go ahead because we run out of time, respectfully. You know, um, I'm gonna end it with OG. And if you have any closing remarks in reference to the show topic, and then we're going to actually still go around and remind everyone on how everyone can support each other. But in reference okay. to the topic, closing remarks, I want to end the show with yourself. Is there anything you'd like to say in me? reference to that? Yes. OG. Me, um... I and what? again, based on everything that's been said, everything you've been taking in, listening to, Anything you want to kind of rebuttal to to close out the show. But again, after you speak, I'm going to go in and take over the mic and go around table so everyone can go ahead and say their piece when it comes to how everyone can support each other. Okay. Um, well, I, I agree with a, a lot with what everyone said. Um, with Jazzy, too, like as far as like not kicking your kids out of the home because it's like, you should be the one to to lead them into adulthood, you know, and help them. Like, even even if the advice that you give them right now, even if they don't take heed to it right now, later on they might need it, you know. So like, instead of pushing them pushing them away into life, so they could go ahead and start experiencing life in a negative way, be there for them, you know, no, no matter what choices they make. So. I, I agree. agree with that. As far as her saying, like, don't push him out, like, to the street it's too early, even if it's taking long to, you know, to to grow up. I agree. Okay, absolutely, absolutely. Unfortunately, I think we just lost Jazzy again. We just lost yeah, Jazzy. Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunately. But yeah, no, well said, OG. And again, thank you so much for being on the show. Thank um, you. Please too. let everybody know. Oh yeah, thank you, thank you. Please let everybody know, remind them again how they can support your platform. The um the OG Rebel and Organic Greatness on Instagram, that's my shop, mm -hmm. and organicgreatness.com, that's my website for my shop. Okay, absolutely. And I'm going to go ahead and go over to Deacon. Same thing, brother. You know, please, how can they support your platform. And I, I, I'm, I'm sorry, and I was going to say, don't mind me. I'm just a little nervous. You know, I'm not, I'm not really used to like, you know, this. No, nah, so. you still bring a softness to the table where I think it was still needed. So I don't think your nervousness <laughs> is noticed as much as you're admitting it. You know what I mean? It's hard. Yeah, no, you yeah. did great. You did great, OJ. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. You're welcome. <clears throat> yeah, well, I, I'm, I'm Deacon Gore on everything. Um, in terms of support me, I mean, if you see me, just holler at me, man. I'm a musician. Like I said, we just put together the uh, the 50, for the 50 years of hip hop, me and my son just put together the LSD album uh, for um, with over 50 Chicago artists on it. Uh, 17 songs, over 50 artists on it. We put that together for the 50 year of hip hop for Chicago. Um, so if you want to support me, lsdmemo.com, Lower Stones and Disciples. And um, I just wanted to do that. And um, other than that, Deacon Gore on everything. Yeah, no, that's awesome, man. What you've been doing yeah. and what you've accomplished, that's, that's really, um, that's, it's speechless, you know, really. Like, there's no words that really can express on how powerful that is for our community mm -hmm. and for Chicago to help bring you, you to unite 
everyone together and to bring more peace instead of over violence. So that's much yeah, love, man. brother. Straight like that. I'm. I try to thank you, bro. Salute. Uh, it definitely uh Salute. has been a challenge, but um, like I said, uh, the ants are more powerful. For real, for real. I'm gonna go ahead and go to Mimi, and um, if you can remind them, please, how they can continue to support your platform. Okay, guys, you can uh, you can send me a cash app. No, I'm kidding. You can support me via, <laughs> via at MIA Entertainment Group dot com or MIA Entertainment Group on IG. Mimi Acosta one, two, and three on Facebook. I'm on Instagram and I'm LinkedIn. Google Mimi Acosta and you will get it. you get everything on me. But yes, that's how you can support me. Are you and down I'm, in Atlanta? I'm in Georgia, yes. Okay. Yes. My, that's where my son just moved from. I moved from LA, he moved from Atlanta. So Okay, yes, that's what's up. I yeah. hear the mutual yeah. alligator spot, so be careful out there with the geckos and the alligators and all the good that's stuff. That's fine. I got you. <laughs> and I said it. Can you let people know how uh, how they can support you and follow you? Oh, um, if I may. <laughs> yes. So you, you know me. Um, I'll I'll ask for much. You know what I mean. I kind of just really want the most is like you know us to show more love to each other. And stop hating on each other, man. Support, you know what I'm saying? Your brother, support your sister. Support, you know what I'm saying? Because we all family. We all connected out here, you know what I'm saying, spiritually. And um, you know what I mean? And it's just deep like that. But if you want to support me as an individual, then just go ahead and go to my YouTube and subscribe to I Said It. One word, management, you know what I'm talking about? And um, you can find me on any platform. And, um, you know, you just Google I Said It. One word, you know what I mean? Um, I'm gonna start coming up on your page. You know, you be maybe surprised, but you know, we out here working and just trying to help network and bring mm -hmm. more people together because it's all about unification and uniting people and stuff like that. Now, with that being said, uh, what I like to do on this show, both Mimi and I, is that we just try to give each other, you know what I'm saying, they credit where it's due. You know what I mean? I really say flowers so much, but you know what I mean? Flowers, credit where it's due, whatever you want to call it bouquets, whatever, you know what I'm talking about? Love, just show love back and just thank you again for everything that you out here are doing. So if I can take the liberty of just starting that off, um, as always, ladies first, I'm gonna go to um, OG, I'm gonna go to Mimi, and then I'm gonna finish it up with um, Deacon. But first, despite she's not here, I wanna just salute Jazzy, no nonsense to poet for all of her excellent work out here in the community and the industry, everything that she's been doing. She's actually been a force out here for many long time. And um, you can definitely Google her and find more information to her. And um, as a fellow poet, I know it, it can be difficult, you know, for us to get the respect, you know what I mean? So, you know what I mean? I want to salute her and just, man, just tell everybody about how proud I am of her. And thank you so much, Queen, for being part of the show. And thank you for your support. And thank you for all the promotion. And with you um, backstage, actually, shout out to Demetrius who came on your behalf. Shout out to the general who was here on your behalf. And then shout out to a young lady named Nikki Babu, Bamboo, mm -hmm. who um who was um in the conversation when it came to um saying we did an amazing conversation today. Thank you. Now, with that being oh. said, let me go ahead and move on to OG Nelly Rebel. You know what I'm talking about, man, Queen. Thank you again so much for everything that you do out here. I want to say how proud I am of you. And um, you know what I mean? The, the product that you have is very meaningful to the survival of us. You know what I'm saying? Deeper than you may even know. You may or may not know. I don't know. I mean, that's why you do it, right? But <laughs> like we need this. You know what I'm saying? We need organic products. We need the butter. We need um things that's natural you know what i'm saying and get away from all these mm -hmm. chemicals and get away from things that's you know what i mean been tainted that's taking our lives away and shortening our lifespan and things of that nature so you are part of the production and helping the um the growth or extend the life of you know what i'm saying i'm sorry none of this is not i'm, I'm not scripted over here this all this straight from the spirit y'all got it y'all got to excuse me sometimes that's how it's supposed to be so it's true it's true <laughs> It's true. Don't stop, you know don't stop. I say what I feel. I say how I feel it. You know what I'm saying? At the moment. Yeah. But OG, I'm so proud of you, Queen. Keep doing what you're doing. You're doing the Thank right you. thing. You're definitely going in the right direction. Don't be discouraged by anything that anybody's saying. And again, if anybody's telling you different, they lying to you. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You are great. 
you are powerful, you are a queen, and you know what I'm saying, you're doing the right thing. And just keep going, queen, and salute to you. And thank you for your support all the time. And every time I invite you, you know, you show up, you always do you know me, just anxious and excited. And um, thank you for that, that, that enthusiasm. You're welcome. And I appreciate you for inviting me too. Oh, uh, yes, yeah, one love, definitely, definitely one love. Now, um, Mimi, Mimi, the legendary um, Mimi Acosta, you know what I mean? I have the privilege of always, at the end of the show, always saying something about you and how I really feel. And um, it never gets old, like I say. I always look forward to just giving you your flowers because you've been out here for a long time as well. And just, you know, respectively, you have helped set the pathway for people that's in the industry when it comes to acting, when it comes to film behind the scenes, when it comes to, you know, hosting, when it comes to, you know, I mean, like everything, you know, you was in commercials at the age of 15, was that, if I'm not mistaken, was yes. 15 years old <laughs> in TV commercials? Like, yes. that's deep, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you really set a pathway yeah. and paved the way for a lot of people who have platforms today, especially in your culture. So, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Um, much respect mm -hmm. to you and everything that you do. Thank you so much for all your love and your support that you always show me. Um, obviously, if you all don't know, she's also the co-host of From Her Point of View talk show alongside Lily the Goddess. Shout out to Lily. And, oh, um, really? You know, yeah. Nice. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, and then with the square table, and then, you know, we even got another show we're going to hit them with coming up where it's just me and Mimi. So that's coming soon because, you know, our chemistry is so strong and just like, I don't know what it is, but you know what I mean? You're just a real one. And um, I just appreciate you, Queen, and I want to salute you and thank you. I love you. Love you too. Thank you. Thank you. Just thank you so much. And um, last but never least, brother, you know what I'm saying, Deacon Gore, I want to start by saying, you know, peace to Sister Africa, uh, because if it wasn't for her, then we may not yeah. have crossed paths. So thank you for, you know, um, thinking of both of us in the same light to invite you or bring you, you know what I mean, to the show. And make sure um, we connect. A touch of green. Yeah, man. And that's where we met um, just shortly, not long ago. And we haven't had many conversations, but I foresee great more conversations coming in the future and just building on how we can continue to help the community and, and just, you know, a brotherhood or whatever the case may be. But I want to salute you today, brother, for everything that you're doing. Like I said earlier, yes, sir, in that way. That way. Um, it's really deep, man, and powerful to be able to bring different sets together when it comes to games, you know what I mean? Because that's like what we known for, you know what I mean, when people think of Chicago and, you know, to be able to help unite all of us together, man, you know, saying from people that don't <laughs> game bang to the people that do game bang to, because yeah. there's so much separation, segregation amongst so us in Chicago. Like people don't understand, like amongst our black people, like they got Chinatown, they got Polish town, they got every other type of city and Greek town, town. And community. Right, right. Greek <laughs> town, you know what I'm saying? But we separated though. You know what I'm saying? We we the ones that don't come together. And so what you did with that mixtape with your son and yourself, that is so deep, man, on a whole nother level. I don't say spiritual, Thank brother. You, bro. It's a spiritual what you did. You know what I'm saying? And um, I want to salute you for that and just thank you for everything that you're doing. Um, again, also as a black man, you know, like not everybody goes down the path of going to school or whatever like that. And I know you said the reason you didn't want to tell um, such and such that you wasn't in school was you said your granddad, your dad. I was scared. Yeah, my granddad. <laughs> your granddad, right? Right. So, yeah. right. But, but it somehow it helped you to be more ambitious to keep going and to have mm -hmm. three masters, man. That's, that's deep, man. Yeah. That's a lot. And then mm -hmm. you say you're going for your doctors, man. Much respect to you. And, um, yeah. Man, I just want to, you know what I'm saying, bro, thank you for everything you're doing, you know what I'm saying, um, yes. with the education to help continue to inspire young men to tell them that they can do it and can, mm -hmm. you know, if they just dedicate themselves and stay focused and just keep the balance of fatherhood and um, my condolences to you with, you know, with your girl and everything like that, man. And, um, man, just much respect all the way around, brother. And, you know, I look forward to whatever we can do together when it comes to building and doing business, man. You know what I mean? Like I say, um, I called on you at the last minute and you was here and I appreciate that and, and let it be known, you know, just let me know what I can do 
on your end, and you know what I mean. I'll be there as well, you know, God willing. And so, well, man, I, salute to you, brother. Salute. Appreciate and you. before we leave, please let me thank y'all and thank you, you, Mimi. Thank you. I said it, and OG Rebel, your humility, Mimi, your 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 resume, you. and I said it, your ability to bring magnets together. So it's like I appreciate that too, because like I said, I don't do this much. Uh, it's not many formals where I see my viewpoint being spoken, received, or even heard. So I just stay away. So when the guy led me to, to be on your platform, it was a no brainer to me. So I, mm -hmm. I appreciated being everything I expected and thought it would be. And I just look forward to me and you and everything we gonna do in the future. Because I mean, I, I can be an intimidating individual. I'm a six feet dark skinned man. So I recognize that. And I always say, if anybody come to me, it's because God sent them. You know what I mean? Right. That's right. Right, yeah. right. So talk, thank man. you as well. Yeah, much yes. love to you, brother. Much love. All right, hey, all I right. highly recommend that you all thank you too. support everyone that's on this platform. That yes. way, we'll yes. do. I followed up. Uh, uh, Jazzy's, her link didn't work. Yeah, Jazzy, her link no to her page. Support. Jazzy, no nuns. Is G J A Z Z Y I E? Yeah, um, I, I got it. I got yeah. it. I got it. I got it. Back. Say that. Yeah. No nuns. But yeah, you know, um, that's, that's what it's about. You know what I mean? Everyone that's on this show, you know, the goal is hopefully that everyone continue to support everyone. And you know what mm -hmm. I mean? It's not ever a given that everyone's going to keep in touch forever because, like, my one of my wife's sister, shout out to my sister, Don told me, you know I me, mean, some people are only there for the season of your life. They not mm -hmm. there forever and they don't supposed to and don't feel bad if it's only for a season of many seasons because you know, some people are supposed to come to your life for the reasons that they're supposed to to help inspire you, challenge you, mm -hmm. whatever the case yeah. may be. And then they move on yeah. back to wherever their destiny is to connect with somebody else. So that's just how it is and that's how I see it. So don't feel bad. Anyone on the platform if something happened that will be dope because it may have just been a season. It may be forever. I don't know. It's whatever in God's plan. You hear me? Um, but, man, much love to all of you all in this moment. <laughs> much respect. You know what I'm saying? And thank you for everything that you all do and continue to it's do. It's so hard. And um, keep going hard. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Keep going hard. Yeah. It's hard, bro. Salute everybody. This is an amazing platform. Please don't stop. Thank you. Thank you. And, Deacon, yeah. I think you need, to, you need to at some point start your own little thing, too, okay? And if you do... And when you do, you make sure that you reach out so we can support you as well, because you do have something to say, and there is a platform for you, and I think that you should start it, okay? Say less. I'm sorry. I'll take you right. to those words. So, <laughs> with that being said, Deacon, what's the name of your show again? He actually does have a show where he does interviews. I was doing GFM, but, you know, the God-fearing man. But, um, again, it, I just did it for promo for LSD. Um, I, oh, I, okay. I, no, it, was, it, it displaced me. You know what I mean? Just how everybody is and all of that type of thing. And that's because, okay. And you know what that means? Yeah. It just means that you need to stop, regroup, and elevate yourself and come back. That's all. Just come back. Say that. Right, right. I got you. <laughs> that's it. All right. And when I do, I'm going to make sure everybody in here get that link. I promise you. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. again, thank you. Thank you, everyone, again, for your time tonight, man. Enjoy your upcoming weekend. Be safe. Um, out there and again thank you to Jassy that's not on the sh show at the moment right now but mm -hmm. she was definitely here to support and she's part of this um um this conversation today yes. and uh man just continue to support this show support everybody that you know you may um think needs to hear a powerful message because again to get back to square one what this is about at the square table with both Mimi and I is about you know you come get back to your square only at the square table because like you want to come and get like some knowledge, some information, some inspiration. You hear what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like you can always come over here at the square table and everyone's welcome to the square table. There's no discrimination right. over here at the square table. You hear what I'm saying? Oh, and that's the square, it's just like a circle, 360 degrees. It's the same, oh, same math. Right. You hear me? So yeah. same thing. So man, be safe out there. Much love. Nice meeting you guys. Hey. Likewise. Love Thank everybody. Peace, One love. Peace, peace. One. One love. Peace. Bye. Yes. All right. That way. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. All right. Peace to y'all. Peace. Peace.
No, we can't. All right, there we go.